Hello, and God bless you. My name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church here in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. This morning as I was out on my walk, I was thinking about how much I appreciate Asian, uh, in particular Japanese culture, which has a big focus on respect and honor. Those things are very, very high in terms of the values that the entire nation, the entire culture embraces. And as I was thinking about that respect and culture, I began thinking about something else. And this is what I want to spend a minute talking about. It's rep uh, rep I can't say the word, um, but basically reciprocal relationships, reciprocity. I knew I'd get there in a second. Reciprocity. It's, uh, it's a matter of asking yourself if my tone of voice, if my actions, if what I say and how I say it were reflected back to me and the person with whom I'm communicating, what would they say? How would they say it? And would I be happy with receiving the same message in the same tone of voice reflected back toward me? Ooh, that's a challenging word, isn't it? Uh, to think about how if I'm angry and I am reflecting anger, my words are dripping with venom, I'm sarcastic, I am headstrong, I am everything that says I am totally ticked with you. If that is reflected out at a person, and if they reflected it back the same way toward me, oh, what would happen? A fight, right? A fight. Because I'm not going to take that. And, they're, and the other side is like, well, I'm not going to take that. And next thing you know, you have a complete breakdown in communication. Ah, but what happens if you do the opposite? Um, you begin with kindness. You begin with gentleness. You begin with the same respect and honor that I talked about that is uh, uh, fluent in the Japanese culture. Is it more likely that the person with whom you're communicating will reflect those things, those same things back toward you? Highly so. And maybe it's true too that if the per a person comes to you and they are at 10,000 volts, they are wound up you know, excited, anxious, angry, and they are toward you. What would happen if you took their 10,000 volts and instead reflected back to them how you yourself want to be treated? So they come at you, charge 10,000 volts at you, and you take it and you act like a good little resistor and you reflect it back to them at 110 volts, which is the size of your socket there um, that you plug your fan or your you know your computer into what would happen to the situation maybe just maybe it would de-escalate so this morning i'm in matthew chapter 7 verse 11 jesus is teaching he's toward the end of the sermon on the mount and he says excuse me it's verse 12 and everything do to others as you would have them do to you, for this is the law and the prophets. So today uh, is simply a reminder and an ask. Uh, the reminder is, as it says there in scripture, do to others as you would have them do unto you. Um, and the ask is asking you to join me in minding our tone of voice minding the tone in which we carry ourselves in our lives and make sure we are representing our Lord and ourselves in the best possible way. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. You are welcome to go to freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S dot church to embrace what's there. Uh, look over that website and I pray you grow in faith, you grow in love for our Lord Jesus, that you meet him and get to know him better and look to follow him with your life and your lifestyle. God willing, I'll look forward to spending some time with you tomorrow.